Alright everybody, welcome back to Forever Skies. So, I'm sure that there was a lot of comments in the last video about how to actually get food in very typical meaty fashion. I didn't read the screen. It's this thing. So I lower this down and get those moths or there's some cabbage or some other stuff. And you cook it in the electric cooker and you got food. I don't have any right now, but I do have lures. <clears throat> so, problem solved. We got water thingy right now. Let's see, I've got, yeah, I've got a couple clean waters. I just have to keep making this condenser membrane for it to charge up. So, here's where we're at. Our, our actual quest is find coordinates for under dust location. Reach the exclamation marker so I, I was the last thing it told me was to make this radar and you can see it's kind of pointing out uh, towers there's a wind farm there and this stuff here and then there's some stuff off the screen I don't actually see the exclamation point right now but I still got a lot of stuff to collect but the one thing that is apparently under the dust and I'm guessing they mean that is crystal okay and what what do I need crystal for I need crystal to be able to make uh, this extractor this is the handheld extractor energy crystal so in order to make that which will give me the ability you know when I walk around these places to break stuff down I've got to find energy crystal all right so it's a little difficult to read this map. I I landed here, which is like a. There's some stuff here down there. See the vines? I can't do anything with it yet because I need a knife. And in order to make a knife, I need polymer. And I don't. I mean, I get plastic scrap ready. I don't know how to do polymer yet. So that's the thing. Here's the other thing. Look, I actually opened up some airship expanding the balloon up there. Because right now I have like a 500 kilo weight limit and I'm pretty close to it. So you got to expand the balloon to be able to expand down here. As you can see, I did add this compartment here and I moved. Here's the uh, fabricator right next to the researcher. I've got my my little storage boxes back here and my cooker and now I can walk here without getting stuck every single time I expanded this out I put another deck extractor I got one on each side so I can shoot at things without having to spin around and I got my little my little food lure so these simple ones are good for three times and then they disappear and the advanced ones I think are good for six times but they're more expensive to uh, to craft. All right, let's um I think I'm I'm kind of like out on the edge. It feels like at this place. It feels weird where I'm at. There's a double That would be a win for I I'm pretty sure It's the weird thing. What are we at? 231. Alright, I am going to do this right now. Lower the lure as I'm flying and then... Oh, I have my other lures on me. I'm going to fish a little bit. You can kind of hear it. Now, if we look at this, so this is facing south, right? So that's, it, it rotates. It's showing, actually a lot of the stuff is kind of, well... A lot of the stuff is decreasing. Diseases might become more severe. Come on, baby. Okay, there's a moth there. And then we open this up, put another lure in there, and that's going to be good for three times. And we'll lower that back down. Now we take this dust moth in here with water. Because right now, if we ate it, it would be 15 food minus 5 on water and health. But if we boil it, I think it goes up to straight 40 food, which is pretty good. 
Oh, that's the boiler making noise. All right, so I'm just coasting here right now. I thought that this thing will... Oh, it's ready. That is a really annoying sound though, isn't it? Another dust moth. I guess we can lower it down again. When that gets finished. So when I go to these places like the Tau... Turbine damage max altitude is lowered. When I pull the bat... Why is the turbine being damaged? Okay, when I go to these towers and I yank the battery out, I think it gets rid of the blinking light. So it's like, if you're gonna yank the battery out, you better, uh, you better have cleared everything. Oh, look at that. So there's some, uh, dust lettuce. All right, let's grab this. And we'll take a quick look at this while we're floating here. So, the uncooked dust moth, 15 food, minus 5 water and health. The cooked one is plus 40 food. And then the dust lettuce, you don't have to cook it. Look, it's 10 food and 10 health. So I can just eat that. And I'll eat this one. And I'll cook this guy. Because uncooked, these actually uh, don't last very long. All right, let's see if we can get over to this place. I don't know if I have enough lift. Standard wind farm reach. I don't know if I have enough lift to land here. For some reason my uh, thingy is broken. Oh, it looks like we're up high enough. Yeah, we're good. I always land a little too hard. All right, let me grab some of this stuff. So this is my turbine. Oh, it's at 90% health. So you gotta, <laughs> to find the damage part, you gotta run around with this glob jewel of goo like this. Anyway, I had taken a couple of bad lightning strikes just sitting, sitting here like this. And wow, this, it actually hit and this whole floor was like red and on fire. It was red and on fire. So you can see now I have some food and water here. And so why is that light still on? Um, let's see. Did I not go over here? Oh, apparently I did not go here to grab that battery. Now, did I go in here? Sure looks like I did. Wow, why is it so dark? Yeah, see, I grabbed everything. I guess I forgot to get the battery. Cool. So, I did the first episode, first two episodes back to back. Oh, you know what I need to find? Is more helium. So I can expand the balloon. More helium, please. So, helium seems to be found at the wind farms. So I did see, somebody said I missed a poster at the very beginning. I scanned it, but I didn't pick it up. So I don't even know where the beginning is at now. I'm so turned around and front to back. So is there actually some copper in there? Kind of looks like there is. So you can get copper out of those things. Maybe, I think I shot it already, but we'll double check it. I can't see it from here, so. No, can't see it from here. All right, let's take a quick peek at our, at this guy. So if the way we're looking, we've got one, two, three, four regular towers and one wind farm. But I don't know if they're, if those, I think, I think I came from this direction. It's hard to tell if those are like, uh, completed or not. Like, I don't know how you would do that. And I'm facing south, southwest. There's south, southwest. So yeah, all of those are over in there. And I'm pretty sure, oh, look at that. There's copper right out there. Can I get that from here? So 
So getting glass and stuff out of these things is pretty important too. Nice. Anyway, I need another wind farm to do the helium thingy. Because if you look at this, and we go to the blimpy, so this is the balloon core. You need six helium. Immunity is decreasing. Diseases might become more severe. Yeah, yeah, I get it, lady. Alright, let's uh, launch. See, I can kind of look at this. That's why I put it there. Yeah, see, there's a tower right up here, which obviously I got because it's not blinking anymore. It's right in front of us. So that tower... Maybe if it has that red thing going down. Oh, you, you see on this building here how there's you can see red structural metal? I was inside this area here getting some of that, like that piece there. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll be able to show you. And the dang building collapsed. Like, the whole building came down. Look at it. Oh, it's out of range. Dang it. It's like some of them, you can take it, right? You can get it. And then other ones... It's it's like it's what's holding the building up. But you get a lot of scrap metal from from these big things. There you go. Whoops a daisy. It didn't completely collapse, but Alright, we've gotta look we gotta kind of ignore this map and look around to see if we can do what did I just hit? See if we can see a uh, a blinking light. I know we hit the wind farm. We're going over a tower right now. There's three out to the left. There was one, I believe, out there that I didn't get from the beginning area. I want to say it was one of these guys. Oh, jeez. I'm hitting, hitting all kinds of stuff. Can I elevate over this? Oh, I'm at max height. I'm gonna have to go around these buildings. See all those structures that you can, all that metal you could take here? Metal is uh, much harder to, not harder, but it's, it's not as, uh, doesn't come out as often as the Organics does like the floating stuff and So getting it from here is definitely the way to do it See like that there's some metal right there right there All right. I might put some more engines on now that I'm actually going farther look how tall those buildings are right there in front of me I don't see any blinking lights anywhere. Got a tower right in front of us right there. That we've already hit. Oh, it's this a wind farm. This was the first wind farm. So that means maybe somewhere back over there? Oh, I see a blink. A little blink over there, I thought. Maybe. I don't know. I don't know what the deal is with the dust. Like, what's going to happen if we go down there, you know? Do I have... There's some copper here I can see that I need to get. There's one right over there. You go forward a little bit. Airships module Oops. critically damaged. Airships module, yeah. I just landed a little hard there. Which module? Ninety percent health on that. See sometimes she says that and I don't see it. Anyway. All right, uh, hopefully I can grab this copper that I saw here. Now, 
I thought I saw some copper farther over, over there. It's the turbines, how they get knocked down. So there's one out there. And I've read, this was my first wind farm that I hit. There's one over there. Really spread, oh, it's out of range? Really? I think I got all the stuff off of here. Maybe metals, some glass. All right, it's a little rainy out. All right. You really got to, like, look down and check your footing before you decide to, to start walking. I mean, it's possible there there's some helium here that I missed, but I don't know. Another lantern. Those are just... You can't even turn them on. Those lantern thingies. By the way, oh, there is some helium I missed right there. So I was able to make the tool recharger thingy because my the, both of these tools are actually right at the end. So it takes a battery to do it. Oh, I remember this where I was hopping in and out of there. All right, that should be everything here. I was able to come back and at least get some copper. But I did find one of those radio towers over here that I did not hit. So what we'll do is... Look at our little... Let me, um... Caution. A storm is coming. Oh, great. A storm. What do we have here? Metal. Copper. Glass. There's glass. Copper. Got a decent amount of copper. Got another solid state battery. And then we got this metal, which I probably don't really have room for. Do that, and then we have five of those, and one helium tank, which is not enough. Alright, so we're going to start taking some damage. But if you look at this, I think the one right up there... Alright, I need to drink and drink. And then this now, alright, we just took a hit. Now we need to make a, where is it, under tools, no, condenser membrane, so 10 synthetics. You see, I kind of organize things. These. I think these things are good. So we take that and put that there. That way it'll start making the next batch of water. Now you can see what it did. It ate my... ...machine here. 1% health. This guy. It must have struck here and blew all this stuff up pretty good. See that? I just went through like uh, 10, 10 of those repair patches. Nine of them. <laughs> Look at the repair patches. They're not cheap. Ten metal and one plastic scrap. <coughs> Excuse me. Just gonna hit again. I, the plastic. I need more plastic. Oh, 
<laughs> wow, that took four just to heal that thingy. Sleep through the storm. Calories level is decreasing. Hydration level is decreasing. Hey. Then we'll uh, do that and feel much better. Cool. All right. So, out there, we see a blinking light. I really don't know where I started, and I don't know if it matters, really, at this point. Does it? Like... So, there's this guy here, then it's showing another wind farm out farther. Out that way. Which I could use some helium. Shows this guy back over by itself, which could have been the first one I went to. So the exclamation marks, I guess they're talking about it, are all of these here. All the ones that are way out of reach. And if you look at where we're at now, if we push from here to here to here, that should get us pretty close to this guy. And then we can figure out about going down in the dust. We have four fuel in that guy and 75 in that guy. So I'm running regular fuel in one of those. And this is the helium fuel. I made some helium fuel because at the time I'm like, well, helium fuel. I guess when that engine goes out, I'll just change it to helium fuel. Wait, the turbine was damaged? Do it. Here we go. See how fast that thing runs out of fuel. Engine damage, max speed is reduced. It's just damage, it didn't... Fuel depleted, there we go. All right, so first things first. Zero percent health. All right, that must have taken a hit. That's actually the first time I've seen a uh, fuel tank take a hit. All right, so we're running helium fuel there. We have 60 and 73, so here we go. Kick it in the guts, man. These little things, they do like one, two, three, four damage, you know, running into these. It's really the running into buildings, landing too hard, or the inevitable lightning strikes. I probably, while we're flying, let's go ahead and uh, lower the lure. Yeah, I feel a little bit dumb about the food thing, but honestly, right away, the game taught us to use that for... Dude, the wind is blowing me from right to left. I don't know if you can tell, but I'm having to steer into the wind. Because it was wanting to push me over there into those buildings. See, if you look at the header here... Anyway, like I said, I feel a little bit dumb because it taught us right away that this thing here will, uh, you can get something to get rid of that, um, photosynthesis virus, photosensitivity virus. Didn't really talk about it being food, though. I guess I could have looked at it and said, hey, look at this. This stuff is food. It's food, man. Communication point reach. I will land out here on this big boy. Lure path obstructed. Oh, shoot. So I should have finished fishing first. Is it working? No, I think it, it I think it brought it back up.
I gotta be careful. I've been a little cowboyish landing these things and I keep doing damage. There we go. Alright, so if we look at that. So I imagine it's that guy right there. That question mark. Or this guy. Because like I said, I should be within, within reach of one. So we're going to go from here maybe to that wind farm and this and that. I don't know. We'll see. Let's see what's here. This is just a regular place. Do I have a light? Like, why all of a sudden does it feel dark? And these trash piles is where I find my my plastic scrap. Uh-oh. Good. sure that was the smartest move, but okay. A lot of these things I've, not a lot, but a few I found where they, um, there's no door. You gotta kind of manhandle your way in. That's L. I don't have a light, I don't think. I could use like a headlamp or something. Simple lure, thank you very much. Hey, an old food ration. That's the first one that I've actually found since I was looking for food. Just can't rely at all on, on a ration. You gotta just eat moths, I guess. Take poster, join Project Oxygen. So is this what you guys were talking about? There was a poster to scan? Laminated poster in good condition, suitable for airship as decoration. Okay. Maybe it's just decoration then. I haven't scanned anything in a while. That's where the handheld thing comes in handy. Right, don't ask me while I'm doing this. Looked like maybe that was the way to get in. Whoopsies. I might have to actually hit this one from the ship to break open some of these doors. Like this glass wall here doors on the other side there. Everything is so important, you know, you never know what you're going to need, but we definitely are in the need of crystal right now, which is probably why the game is guiding us to go into the dust. Data card. Uh, require window wall. Okay, so giving us new things that we can make those data cards. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Oh, dangerous. Dangerous. We got all the plastic from this guy. Plastic, plastic, plastic. Hey, look, we're back at our ship. How nice. Whoop. All right. So. We got a little bit of plastic. We got a little bit of machine parts. We got some electric components. We did get some fuel. That guy, what is this? Old food ration. Thank you. Got another battery. Now this cabbage here, six hours, so you gotta be careful. Might as well eat it now. I was low anyway. All right, so let's head to the next location I'd like to get continue moving on if we look at this It should be that wind farm there Then we'll go straight south to that guy and then maybe that that question mark is the other place we need to go 
So the wind farm, I'm looking for a fresh wind farm I haven't been to to get some helium tanks to see if we can expand our balloon. Wind farm, you, you actually have to be able to get up to max altitude. Ooh, look at it cleared up for a second there. So with it say, telling me, sir, there's another wind farm out there, right over there too. The thing is, it's like telling me where these dust thingies are, right? So maybe you can't just dive down into the dust anywhere. Maybe you need to go to the location and then go down to it. I don't know. And it might be that, um, it might be that oxygen tank that's in my inventory gets used while we're down there. I, it seems like something would need to be different. Okay. Coming in hot. See if we get some of this copper knocked out first. Looking good. What? Out of range? It's literally right there, dude. Wow, it's pretty far out there, actually. in there oh yeah I think there's more than that in there okay pretty good I think we're gonna probably have to make more of these guys more I need a like a recipe for a larger chest these small ones just don't cut the mustard We've got a decent amount of that and then metal yeah we're maxed out there okay <clears throat> all right so we need some helium Helium! We got that place to go down to. Looks dangerous down there. Watch your footing! There's a copper I couldn't get to. Because of the angle of the dangle. Alright. <clears throat> Helium time. There's a couple tanks right there. Thank you. A couple tanks over uh, there. He really doesn't want me to walk under the stairs. Read. Depletion of the trash. This is our last shipment here, lifted without question, okay? Cool. Cool story, bro. I'm gonna go down. Look at this thing. Blockade. Knife or crossbow? It's a locking mechanism blocking me from getting to the battery on this thing. And to get the to make the knife, I need that I need to be able to make polymer, which I haven't been able to unlock yet somehow, some way. 
polymer. I think it's from maybe those. There was a a station that was like all plants, and that's where the knife first came up. So I, I'm guessing that that is probably where we unlock polymer. I could read the vines on the outside, but there was something on the inside that I couldn't read because the vines were blocking it, which kind of sucked. Some bright in here. We still got a little storage space. this one. Insert solid state battery. Huh? There better be something special in here for circuit boards, circuit boards, circuit board. A lot of circuit boards. A computer room, apparently. I did not have a good collection of circuit boards, so that's cool. Worth. Not worth. Oh, well, that's what made this one valuable was all those circuit boards. The computer room, I guess. Can we take this solid state battery out? A battery that powers less. I don't think it won't let us take it out. Like once you put it in there. You lost that battery. Hmm. It's unfortunate. But I guess the trade-off is pretty good. That was not that safe. Either jump, having to jump across that? Alright, so we've, we've found some new things here. A uh, place that we had to power open and this blockade thingy here. Which said it either needs a crossbow or... Or a knife. I didn't even know a crossbow existed in this game. Alright, we got a piece of copper there. So we have one copper there and one on the other side, right? We'd have to hit him with the ship airborne. Alright, so if we look where we're at now... We've got ourselves a wind farm over there, another wind farm way in the distance. We've got that. Now that's one of those weird places. One of those places, it's like a vine covered tower, right? And that's the first place it told me I needed a knife. And what we're looking for though is that, uh... so that's a question mark. That's a wind farm. Now that I'm here, I don't know which one was the exclamation mark that we were going to be close to. Hmm. I think that other copper was back here, right? Oh, maybe that was the copper that I saw, but that one is too out of range. Out of range, all right. That wind farm off to our right. Interesting. It's pretty big looking. From here, that one looks bigger than normal. Reach the exclamation mark on radar. I figured it would be one of these. Look, it, that one's actually coming into view up there now. So maybe it does stay an exclamation mark. Immunity is decreasing. Disease you know what I mean? Right there. Severe. Maybe maybe I just didn't go far enough yet. All right. 
Yeah, now that it's on the screen, it's still an exclamation mark. Well, that's cool. So we've got we got one, two, three, four, five, six things here. These ones here are a little whack, man. The footing is very scary. Let's see this side here. I need to pivot. Is it? That's the thing there that I wasn't able to get into before. I wish this thing had like a lateral movement. Heading and speed. Altitude. Look at that. It's kind of sucked in there, huh? This is what this this place has holes in the thingy. Holes in the thingy. Maybe I won't yank the battery out of this one because like this is what I'm talking about here. So this stuff on the outside requires a knife, but if you look in there, there's other stuff in there that I can't scan. This is bruise flower. So bruise flower and chili, which is found on these things, it mix that to make uh, first aid. Potassium, vegetable used in many dishes. Seems to be more of the weird stuff on these plant overgrown ones. But you see, I need a knife to get in there to see whatever that other thing is because in my studies of the radio tower variants, 54 wind farms. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know, man. If you leave a pat pat, it's pat pat. Yeah, there's no way to get through that thing without a knife. I can't scan that inside one. Got to figure out how to do uh, whatever it's called. Platinum, plutonium, platypus, polymer. That's it. I was way off. I like to get stuff. All right. Empty drawer. <clears throat> oh, do I get this battery? Do I get this battery or not? If you get the battery, it turns off the light. I'm taking it. This gonna hurt. <clears throat> yep, that hurt. Couldn't be bothered. All right, you guys. We're going to cut it here. <clears throat> Come back in the next episode. What we're going to do is... Calories level is decreasing. We're going to shoot straight over to this place and see what it is. I think it's going to take us below the dust. So it's kind of important. You guys hit the like button. Join me next episode. We're going to go downtown.